Brendan, how are you doing? We're here at the Motu booth, very impressive in the new hall. Uh, Digital Performer 10, I mean, that's a big milestone for you guys, right? Absolutely, a big milestone, double digits. Um, we've, it's been a while from the DP9 cycle, so this is definitely a long-awaited um, release. So DP10, we're looking at it right here on our three uh, retina display screens. We're looking at here in the center screen the new DP10 clips window. It's a brand new window in DP10 for clip-based uh, production, for triggering loops, uh, audio MIDI and automation loops on your keyboard uh, controller or laptop. Uh, we can just drop clips into our queue here and start messing with loops. It's great for writing. Uh, great for recording different ideas into DP without actually recording the audio or MIDI and just dropping them in, triggering loops, live playback, the list goes on and on. We and also how does that work? Would you create, grab a section here and then just drag it? Of course. And drop? So we can, we can actually take this and we can, I'm just pressing Command C, copy, and we can just click an empty cl uh, cell here, paste it, drop it right in, and if I double click, I can back, bring up the okay. clip editor here. I mean, it's a language that everybody understands, isn't it? Of I mean, course, it, it yes. makes sense to kind of Of course, so we've now right? added this new feature for clip-based recording into DP10. If we come back over here, we've also added this the new, um, let's enable this stretch layer here. Uh, we've put stretch on, and now we go into the stretch layer. And I can, if I, let's use the find beats command here, find beats. I'm using the new run command, which is shift spacebar or I can find the beats in any of these audio files. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Let's go back here. Sorry, one second. So now we've just found all the beats here. Right, so it's picked up the transient yep. points. So it's picked up the transient points. I'm gonna press apply. And now if I go into the stretch layer right here, I can actually take waveforms and the transients and individually move them back and forth using our ZTX pitch and time stretching engine. So this is happening in real time. This isn't actually adjusting any of the original audio files. This is doing it in real time so we can make time stretching adjustments on the fly just like that, um, as well as doing the traditional uh, pitch and time stretching, which if I zoom out here, you can obviously do from here as well. Right. So, this, I mean, this is all kind of like, uh, again, it's uh, DAW currency now. Well, of isn't course. It? Well, this is just building off, and it, again, what, what makes, what makes DP different from other DAWs out there in this regard is the ZTX built-in uh, pitch and time stretching engine. This is software that we've put in as of DP 9.5 and have basically built on into DP 10 to give you these new layers and new abilities to stretch audio and to manipulate it like we've you've never really been able to do before. And does it auto detect the program material or have you got different algorithms for rhythmic or chordal or whatever? We do, yeah. So um, if, you, if we go, let's just say, into the pitch layer here, now we're looking at this is the same engine, but using it in pitch. We have the ability to do, um, this is what we're used to, the, uh, the pitch engine for editing something like vocals, but where you have efficient for good, better, or best, for solo, standard, uh, ZTX standard format, pure DSP solo vocal is what we're used to, so if you're editing just a standard vocal. We also have the absolute or relative mode feature where I can either adjust the individual uh, uh, pitches or I can go up in intervals, the whole thing, up or right, down right, in right. intervals as well. And again, it's all working in real time without actually editing any of the original audio file. Uh, aside from that, we've upped our beat detection engine as well. And we've given you a new content browser, uh, which is available in the project menu. I'll bring it up over, let's bring it right into here, which basically works as a finder window for everything. So I have my project audio files, my bounces, my clippings. I can add places anywhere in my, uh, let's say, desktop. I can add any of my drives that are connected. We can also add different instruments to empty instrument tracks. We can add effects, right, so sort effect of presets. Kind of yeah, every, and we just yeah. drag and drop it onto, mix, onto the mixer. Uh, insert settings, samples, universal DP clippings. We can all just drag and drop, and we can preview and audition audio files out of there as well by using the audition mode, or excuse me, the audible mode. And of course, we've added this scalable UI. Yeah, I mean, this is impressive amount of real estate. Absolutely. So now if you're working on these 4K retina display monitors that have extremely small pixels, we've now given you the option in all windows of DP, let's blow this up a little bit here, to be able to completely zoom in yeah. and scale DP for, you know, now we're looking at these giant 32-inch retina display monitors, and we're now able to get a really good crisp view of what's going on in DP. So that's like a, like a big rework that's the a graphics big rework. engine, right? Absolutely, yeah, that's yes. a lot of work. Yeah. That was a lot of work for us to do, but so we... So I bet your coders are probably partying now. That's oh, they're, the door, part, right? they're, they're popping bottles of champagne back in Boston. It's a big success, big... Uh, everybody's 
super happy with it. I'm happy with it. So this is DP10. Should be available, um, we're hoping, in the next month. Uh, I think at the end of February. And lots of no other, you know, features that I haven't gone over, but this is just kind of on the surface. A lot of stuff we're really proud of here. Yeah, I mean, the DAW is just such a massive thing. And when you get to a legacy like this, because we were talking before, I mean, it's one of the first DAWs, right? One of the first. We're coming up, I believe, it's, it's we're 30 years in the industry. Uh, from originally Performer in the mid-'80s to the first uh, installment of DP, which is in, uh, I believe, the late-'80s, uh, 87 or 88, I believe. And now we're 2019. We're here with DP10. Couldn't be happier about it. Great, thank you very much. No problem, appreciate it, thanks.